Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna run out and check our little compost pile out back here. We've got an absolutely windy day. You can see all of our compost in here. I wanted to show everybody. We've got some serious breakdown. And the reason I'm out here is because yesterday we had about 60 degrees and I had reallocated some more material. And I also mixed all of the material that we had up without ruining our Jean Pin composting, without poking holes in any of our hose or our air ducting that we're blowing heat through here with. It's about 32 degrees out here today. I'm going to run in the greenhouse. So we are sitting about freezing temp outside right now. And in our greenhouse, we are sitting 49 degrees on our little thermometer on our northern wall that is in the shade and we do not have any sunlight breaking through and you can see I have a shade cloth on Let me set my coffee down Whew, it is nice and warm in here compared to outside we have our shade cloth on because yesterday we saw 61 62 degrees very abnormal temperatures very abnormally warm temperatures i should say and with those abnormally warm temperatures i had to do something about the extreme heat that was going to build on our dark surfaces and on our stones in order to prevent the burning and the drying out of our beds and all of the soil and the roots in them it's a very tricky time when preparing for one or the other going into a cold period or going into a warm period. You don't want to burn your plants or have them freeze. So putting this shade cloth up definitely dropped down the sunlight that enters in here, but we're able to get good passive temperatures with our Jean Payne composting. We're sitting 50 degrees, 49, 50 degrees in this greenhouse. And as the sun begins to break up the clouds a little bit on this day, it will only passively warm up and store that energy. But being able to have that compost heat and we reallocated that pile because we noticed that it was cooling down a little bit. So we added some material, nice hot chicken poo, chicken bedding. And we mixed that in with all of the material we previously had burning in the pile to kind of put the inside to the outside without really disrupting the flow of our water or our airflow. So we should get a decently hot compost pile because we had a lot of material out there. I just wanted to come out here and do a checkup with everybody. My weekly checkup basically Sunday morning out here checking on all of the plants and seeing what we've got going on i just wanted to show everybody how this was laid out and how this is operating without much intervention by me i really don't have to do much i just come out and we'll make sure everything's watered early on on a sunny day so it has a chance to evaporate and soak that up so it's not just soaking overnight on a cold night when the air temps in here could reach 40 42 degrees at the lowest if we have a really windy night so plants like this will have to be covered up but since it's not too bad out right now we only saw 32 last night i was certain that it would be decently warm out here we're sitting at 49 at 7 30 in the morning so being able to come out here first thing in the morning and basically check on all of these plants here we've got an absolute mess of plants you can see lots of sprouts coming up whole bunch of life in here all of our mint we've got cuttings of a bunch of shard a bunch of kale down there some potted plants we've been keeping alive and absolute ton of lettuce radishes pak choy tat soy down on the end and we're achieving all of these sprouting temperatures on the floor of this little greenhouse 32 degrees outside using that compost heat to transfer the water through the floor and slowly warm it up and keep these temperatures in the sprouting range to keep all of these cold hardy plants alive we're not sprouting tomatoes but we are sprouting lots of life and lots of food so i'm going to set the camera up and roll up our little 45 degree angle tarp here that's been keeping this bed nice and protected so let's take a look at all of the sprouts and plants we've got coming up because of our Jean Payne composting system and our buried hose that holds some warmth from our compost and transfers it to the floor of our greenhouse. Now it runs up underneath here and we're catching directly above where that hose runs. You can see all these sprouts coming up and we don't really have new sprouts much in any other areas other than right where we have our hose. We have definitely got a decent amount of plants 
that are surviving in this greenhouse off of our compost heat and off of passive heat. We've got both of these row covers and this one has been really productive for us because we can just roll it right up, roll it right down and it is definitely thick and it blocks a little bit of sunlight in there so it's not too bright and burning these plants up. The other end is open so it can vent out. So let's take an in-depth look. We've got lots of life. A little bit of onions. We cast a ton of seeds in here. We've got our kale that came through. Got lots of shard and spinaches. Got some peas popping up. Some peas that are already developing leaves. All this chamomile and lemon balm we had out here. We just threw the seed out and it definitely sprouted up in the sunshine and took off from all the passive heat we're holding on these rocks. You can hear that wind just ripping across the top of the greenhouse here. This kale is looking healthy. We've got lots of kale coming up and little kales planted out that are not fully hardened off yet. You can see we transplanted those out and the soil still wet from watering those in after we transplanted. But We've got lots of onions, and you can just see how many seeds are popping up. We planted a ton of lettuce in all of our onions, and we've just got massive amounts of seeds coming up through all of this. And this is where all of our shards and spinaches start, our tat soys. Lots of life coming up in just this little tiny bed here, and it's all due to the sun and our compost heating. You can see our black hose basically cuts out of the soil right about here. But it's right up under this board all the way down and back around. So we're catching good heat and being able to hold some of that heat in this little box here. So I really wanted to just show how well this system's been working and how we're using it to our advantage and how these stones and bricks helped passively hold that heat and keep the heat in the floor overnight while we're still heating it from the floor at the same time so those bricks are just spreading that passive heat out to the base of all of our plants we have them insulated from the actual floor to keep a little bit more heat on them so this is working out for us we've got all of these sprouts coming up in the first week of march here so i think we're doing really well for being in zone 5a slash 4b we've been seeing some abnormally warm temperatures the last week or two so I think we got some definitely normal cold temperatures coming here so being able to use all of our compost heat and hold all of this life in our greenhouse when not much is growing outside our grass is still brown and it is basically all froze up still like I said we had freezing temperatures outside overnight and we held decent 50 degrees in here overnight which is very very good for the given circumstances of this small little greenhouse. It is much easier to keep and hold the heat in this small little greenhouse as opposed to our large greenhouse. So we have a lot more success in here. I really just wanted to share the success that I'm having in this greenhouse with this method. And so early in the season, we're doing very well for ourselves in this little greenhouse. So hopefully in the future, we can continue this process into our large greenhouse and basically operate our large compost heated greenhouse just like this small greenhouse and be successful all winter long.